your um, spell is going crazy right now, and I'm just curious if you made your orb go crazy or if that is uh rooney has hacked your orb <gasps> did rooney hack my orb rooney did hack her orb in fact here's what happened just a few minutes before oh i think by the way i think there's still a bug and i've oh yeah here it is look 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 line 109 i wrote probably needs to be securified too i think your spell can take over other people's minis was that from like that stream where you're like there are three yeah. security yeah. holes i was like there are three security holes and we found two of them mm, there's one this left. Is the last well rooney did find the bug but it happened during the testing of another feature which i'd also like to report on essentially you can now write code that queries the 3d world that you're in and you could do logic based on the conditions in the world. So for example, our test spell in the next clip is such that when the code spells orb gets close to another user's orb, it changes color. And it's able to do that because it can detect the location of the other user's orb, the location of its own orb, and the distance between them. What color am I right now? You're green right now. Is it green. related to Trither's? It Does is. So okay. if I am within a hundred of Trither, I should be green, and if I am not within a hundred of Trither, I should be orange. All right, I'll, I'm gonna bop the round up in that direction, and I'm gonna bop close to up in that direction too. So you should then, turn orange, I feel. Change. Mm, yep, yep. Yeah? Yep, 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 yes. yep, 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 yes, okay. Then, a few minutes later, I think Rooney hacked my orb. <laughs> but we were able to patch the security issue. Fun as it was to be able to hijack another user's orbs, we had to patch it. But Rooney, perhaps I can make it up to you. For those of you who don't know, Rooney has been bugging me to use VS Code instead of Dr. Racket for code spells development. The word on the street is, it's better. I recently downloaded the VS Code plugin for Racket and I'm very excited about it. Let me show you. Let's see how long it takes me to spawn in. Oh, look at this, tab completion. All right, I think we're ready to try it. There we are. Okay, let's change colors. We're going to evaluate some more Unreal JavaScript, only this time we're going to do it on the thing with the name, SF, and we are going to change color. And we're going to change to, ah, let's say green. Indentation slightly off, let's automatically fix it. <gasps> Look at that, save and run. Now we're green. Needless to say, I am very excited about how quick and responsive it is. See you next time.